Hello, this is Homesteading Northwest Florida, Gardening Zone 8A, uh, Northwest Florida. Today is Sunday, June 12th, 2022, and it is only at this time in the morning, it is 73 degrees on our thermometer here. All right, we've trimmed back roses. Uh, not yesterday but the day before we had about an inch and a half of rain uh, and here's our Gladahara and a lot of wind it was very windy with this rain kind of almost slightly hurricane-ish but anyhow we have the Roselle here we grew that from seed in a small pot and then transferred in, into this bed this bed has our old soil from, this is Tithonia diversifolia, Mexican sunflower. This is a Moringa seedling. That's a Moringa seedling. I think this is basil. I'm trying to get some basil growing here again because it did grow very well here. And we had a stump here, and now this is our little garden seedling bed here of whatever will grow. I put about 10 different things in here, including Moringa seeds. Oop, something scraggled in here. Some kind of bird or something was digging in there. Seedlings. What's this hole? Okay, this looks like a field mouse hole underneath here. See that cracking? And here's a piece of glass. Yeah, that's nice. No, I can't find the exact hole now. Let's dig this one. Well, maybe it was a, not that, but I think it was, but we'll see. Oh, look at that seedling. That does look like a Moringa right there. Okay. We did have some nice rain. Uh, Life of the Party tree rose is coming into bloom again. Although I didn't fertilize it, I probably should as long as it's going to bloom. Here's our flower bed. A lot of zinnias. Zinnias do really well here and so, and with the humidity. A lot of times there's just 80% humidity. We have bee balm. <clears throat> But it's like in the center here, some of these bee bombs are dying. I don't know why. I don't think I'm going to water this. I don't know if they don't like the water the, uh, from the hose or what. But we've got massive hydrangeas here. This is one plant, and I counted 22 blooms. What do we got here? This is our raised bed, and yes, now, yeah, this doesn't have, because I noticed in my back garden, the red lettuce completely disappeared overnight, so something got it. Oh, our moringa, this, these moringas are doing decently here with that rain, so that's good. Now it probably won't rain for about a week. Now these are my Tithonia what I thought was Tithonia diversifolia from the seeds that I saved. And here's a cutting. So we'll see what is the true Tithonia diversifolia. Oh, here's a nice dahlia. All right. And this center bed has got Green Giant Arborvitae, and oh, here's a watermelon. This is these are watermelon flowers with the baby water, smaller water watermelon flowers. And I have honeydew and cantaloupe in here. And sometimes I just kind of leave the weeds. They might be a barrier to rabbits. And yep, so that's that side center bed there. Sorry about
about the walking around, but and we've got a clump of bananas. A palm tree here that's been there for about four years and it doesn't really get any bigger. It's probably trying to fight its way through poor soil down there. But this used to be a vine haven back here about two years ago. So I have the two Life of the Party tree roses. Uh, we have Seminole pumpkin. And I planted, uh, well, this is a sweet potato. One sweet potato in there with the ground around it, uh, you know, softened up. So maybe we'll get more. But these are black-eyed peas. Here's some black-eyed peas. And yeah, or else they're called cow peas. And they're a nitrogen fixer. So I, and I did eat one yesterday, just green like this. And it is pretty good. And the little peas inside are tasty. Add a little, bet you could cook these just like green beans. But they do get a, they have beans and then they get a real long vine at the top. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but it's right here in the middle of my aisle. And uh, two days ago, I planted Egyptian walking onions. Now we're going to see how these do. Probably take like a year for them to establish or more over the winter, but I planted them in several places. I got five of them for like $15, so we'll see how they do. I think this is a red potato that I planted. And here's my yams. The vines are growing all the way up here into the banana tree. And these are also black-eyed peas all around here too protect from uh, rabbits and here's my tomatoes and corn and this is a short dwarf variety of corn but the tomatoes I I'm trying to thin them I actually thinned out a lot of grass that was growing in there and there's a couple moringa trees here Ooh, they got I watered here and they got knocked over We'll see how they do. I think I'm going to fertilize. But that is our, and here's another Egyptian walking onion. We have bok choy. And we're going to, we got a lot of weeds. <laughs> I did weed in this area over here and put some more Egyptian walking onions. So we're trying to grow some food here. And in a way, I think I'm gonna be removing a lot of flowers eventually, because I did have this as a flower garden last year, but this year I added a lot of vegetables. So, like over in this area, this is Malabar spinach. 